Hello all you magical folk, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I am in a new house. <laughs> I have finally moved. We are in the new house. We have so much still left to do. There is boxes everywhere. There is furniture everywhere. So much to do, but I'm super excited about finally being in our brand new home. Literally cannot wait to get everything in its right places, get all of my stuff back out and yeah, start really, really displaying all of my items really, really beautifully and yeah, hopefully then I'll have a nice new background and yeah, just so much excitement to come. But on with today's video, I have a number of boxes here that I actually packed back probably, probably very late last year. Um, like December, November time last year. And I gave a few of the boxes to my mother to store for me whilst we were going through the process of moving. And yeah, she's brought them back to me today. And even though I know there's Harry Potter stuff in these boxes, I actually don't know fully what they are. I can't really remember what kind of things are in these boxes. So I figured I'm gonna be unpacking them and it might be fun to do that on camera and show you guys what are in these boxes. So if you are intrigued and would like to see what is inside these boxes, then do carry on watching. If this is the first time you're tuning into my channel, then hello, welcome. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can also check me out on my social media. Okay, so the boxes in question, I have one here, which is this kind of size box, and it just says Kaylee stuff on the top, so my mum knew that it was mine. I also have this box here, and I have one more, which is a bit bigger. Can I lift this? It's a bit heavy, this one. Ooh, God. Ugh. So I have this one also, Ugh. and all of them just say Kaylee or Kaylee stuff on it, um, but this one actually says the beast on the top, so I actually think this may just be um, my beast figurine from the Beauty and the Beast, but there may be some other things in here as well. So I figured I would have a little look. So because I think I know what is in this one, I think I'll start with this one first. So oh, let me rearrange myself and see what is in here. Let's get all this tape off. I really wanted to make sure that this was safe because I've taped the whole box, like crazy, crazy amount of tape on here. There we go. Am I in? No, I'm not. How are you still? Aha, I'm in. <laughs> right, okay, so in here, this is the kind of thing I have that I'm seeing. Did I wrap? No, nothing in there. So yeah, this is literally just my beast figurine. Oh, heavy boy. So you can just see him poking out there. This is from my Disney portion of my shelves because anyone that knows me knows I'm a big Disney fan as well as Harry Potter. So this is my beast figurine. I actually got him from Disneyland in Paris last September. He cost me, I think it was a hundred euros, but there's a bell figurine that goes with him. So the pair were a hundred euros. So yeah, you think he's so cute and he's got his butterflies all on him and he looks all puzzled as if say, oh my God, what is this? This just landed on my head. So yeah, I love this guy. He's really, really cute. So I'm just gonna pop him down there for now. Move all that out the way. Right, I'm gonna go for the smaller box again now just to see what we have in here because I'm genuinely intrigued. I can't remember what I packed in any of these boxes. Oh, okay, right. So we have something else from my Disney collection. This is my, by the look of it, yeah. This is my very merry and birthday scene. I had this for a birthday present one year for my husband. Um, my rabbit has got an injury. He is missing an ear. Um, my son, in a bit of a temper tantrum actually, knocked that off. He threw something and it hit my bunny. And yes, he is now the one-eared bunny, so that's always fun. Ooh, okay, so I'm finding here we have a Geek Gear Wizardry uh, House coin. This was the gold one. There were only 250 of these made, apparently. This is number 52 of 250. It has it written on the back. And inside the box as well, I do have 
a little coin stand which I used to display it. So you pop the coin in there and it sits on your shelves. So that's cute. I'm glad I finally have that back. As well as the gold one, I also have a silver version as well. So once again, exactly the same kind of coin. I think these, yeah, these weren't numbered, these ones. So it's literally exactly the same coin. It's just a silver version. And I've got another coin uh, stand in there as well. So yeah, so they will go, oops. so they will go nicely back onto my shelves. This is one of my favorite things. I love this. I will show you. Okay, so, um. The very first Cherry Wallace video that I ever watched was her making these house point counter tubes. Um, and I made them myself. I actually wanted something to display at my birthday. I was turning 30 and I wanted some Harry Potter decor. So I watched Cherry's tutorial and I made some myself. So there you can see there's the Hufflepuff and the Ravenclaw version. And then we have the Gryffindor and the Slytherin version. Now. These, to be honest, I want to add the, to the beads because there's not an awful lot in any of these jars. Even the Ravenclaw one, which is the most full because obviously with it being my house, I wanted to have Ravenclaw winning. So Ravenclaw have the most in the jar, but you can still see it's a little bit over half empty. So I do want to get some more beads to kind of top those up a little bit. And I want to do all four houses. So they're a little bit more um, full, like the whole set of them, not just, not just Ravenclaw. So yeah, happy I've got those back. Now I'm seeing things that are wrapped up. So obviously these are more fragile things, but I don't know what you are, what are you? Some of this might be Disney though. Yeah. We have one of my little Marie figurines. I love this one, she is so beautiful. So excited to get all my stuff back out. This probably is another Marie. It is. There we go, this is my other Marie. I absolutely adore Marie. She's like the best kitten ever. Um, this feels like another storybook where I can't remember. Oops. Of course. So I have a Sleeping Beauty storybook, which is stunning. And that's the end of that box. So I'm assuming most of my Harry Potter stuff then that I put into storage initially would be in this one because so far, I've gotten very little out of these boxes that are Harry Potter related. Ooh, here we go. I'm seeing Harry Potter the second open this one. Right, so in this box, I will move it out of the way in a sec. We have a Ron Weasley. Um, these are the five star collection um, figurines. So this is super cute. Like I said, Ron Weasley. I think in here, let me have a look. So I can't remember what Ron came with. Ooh, I'm dropping him. All right, okay. So Ron has his very adorable little tiny wand and a little tiny Bertie Bots Every Flavour Bean Packet, which I thought was really, really sweet. So yeah, that's my Ron Weasley. I'm breaking all kinds of things. I'm gonna pop him back in the box for the moment. And you know, I've just figured out as well. <laughs> I could have shown you that I've taken him out of the box. Silly me. I'm just gonna pop this down because it's in the way. Okay, so in here as well, I do have some of the Harry Potter books, the ones with the, the newer edition um, illustrations on the front, which I love. I think these are gorgeous. There's another one and two. So this one is a Philosopher's Stone. Then we have the Chamber of Secrets. Then we have the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire. The Order of the Phoenix. I'm currently reading The Half-Blood Prince. So then we have The Deathly Hallows. So yeah, I absolutely adore these books. I think they're so pretty. And I haven't actually read these specific ones just yet because even though I'm reading The Half-Blood Prince version, um, I kind of don't want to bend them. They're so pretty. I don't want to like bend the spines and stuff. So that's just me being very, very weird about my books, but yeah, I digress. Anyway, I've also got in here a necklace. This one's quite a cute one, actually. I think this is from a Geek Gear box. So we have a H for Harry Potter and a little lightning bolt. So that's cute. Another Geek Gear item we have, I think this is um, Hagrid's Lantern. Yes, it is. Of course it is. There we are. 
this is such a cute item and this is when geek gear was like doing some really really amazing things because this is not just plastic and um, this is metal here and i'm not sure exactly what this is made out of but it's not plastic it's some it's something else and i'm not 100 percent sure but i just thought this was a really cool little item something that you don't really normally see anywhere and i just love it i think it's really cute oh i have a little vial of liquid luck in here oh i remember this one so this is a little vial of liquid luck again this is from a geek gear box i actually adore this version i think this is actually the best version I've seen a subscription box do. It looks identical to the one in the film and it's really, really good. I love the little label on the front as well. It's not just a sticker, it's actually, um, again, I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of, but it's not just a sticker, it's something else. And it's really, really adorable. Inside is glitter, but I think it looks really, really cool. Let me look, there you go. You can see all the glitter moving. But yeah, this is definitely my favourite version of the Liquid Luck potion that I've seen so far come from a subscription box, to be fair. Well, any box, actually, saying that. I don't think I've seen any Liquid Luck vials so far that are as identical to the films as that one. So that's a really, really good one. In here, I have some magical treats. This is Butterscotch Beer Fudge. I haven't eaten this, and I probably wouldn't advise that I eat it now, to be honest, because this has been in a box for seven or eight months still smells nice it doesn't smell bad it still smells like butterscotch so yeah maybe it holds up i don't know but i'm probably not going to eat it just in case don't advise eating seven month old fudge uh what's this i don't think this is anything actually i think this was a pin but i don't think the pin is in there it's probably on my pin board i've just saved the backing card then i have a little crystal um candle holder and a crystal because you know who doesn't need crystals in their life i've had to switch myself around because sitting on my legs was not fun so what else have i got in here Ooh, i've got a ravenclaw candle i think i got this from premark if i remember rightly doesn't specifically smell of anything it smells very fresh but i wouldn't say it has a particular smell but yeah, that's a really, really cute little candle. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, got gems falling out of here. Oh my gosh, what's in here? Oh, okay, I'm excited now. So we have a chocolate frog box. This is like a trinket box. And then if you open it, you got a little chocolate frog in there. And ooh, he's stuck. We've got a chocolate frog card, which of course is Albus Dumbledore. And this is the Richard Harris version of Dumbledore, which looks wise, I think Richard Harris was the better looking Dumbledore. I think he looked more like Dumbledore that I pictured in my head when reading the books. But yeah, he's, he's a legend to be fair. And I'm very, very sad of his passing. I know that's a long time ago now, but when I realized just before the Chamber of Secrets came out that he had passed away, get it i was like oh no dumbledore died really really sad and for some reason i've got a lot of crystals that are just falling out of here oh i'm excited this is a another geek gear item again this was an amazing amazing item from geek gear this is my very own vault key for gringotts here we are so you can see that absolutely stunning key it's got a really unique lock there and it has a vault number 4252 on the little tag yeah this is just such a cool item and i was so chuffed when i first opened this and yeah i'm very very chuffed that i have it again back into my life because it's gorgeous and i need all my magical things back all this stuff has been in storage now for so long i just i've missed it so much oh you're heavy what are you very intrigued This is another Disney item. This is my Rapunzel doll. I had her for Christmas a few years ago. This is seriously beautiful. I can't get over how much detail this figurine has. She's stunning. All the flowers in her hair 
I mean, you can see them on the camera, but you can't see, I don't think anyway, all these little tiny, like pinky ready kind of flowers in there as well. She's stunning, such a beautiful, beautiful figurine. I saw her in a shop window when me and my husband were shopping for our kids and I spotted it. I was like, oh my God, how beautiful is this? And my husband, bless him, went back and got it for me when we were together. So I was really, really chuffed to get this on Christmas morning. She's so beautiful. I'm gonna pop you down there. I'm seeing Funkos at the bottom. What have we got in here? What are you? Oh, we have a Figaro. Figaro! Again, Disney item. I adore this little kitten. Pinocchio was one of the very first uh, Disney films that I really became obsessed with when I was little and Figaro was just the most adorable kitten. And I wanted her so much. And I had, um, from one of my birthdays, when I was, like I said, very, very little, I had a little cuddly Figaro and I loved it. I took it everywhere with me. She was such a cutie. So another little one. What have we got in here? There's crystals falling all over the place. Where have all these crystals come from? Oh, we have a teeny tiny Marie. I'm not obsessed with Disney cats at all. <laughs> In real life, I'm a dog person, but when it comes to Disney, I'm all about the Disney cats. I don't know why. Okay, then we have some Beauty and the Beast Funkos. I've got a Belle and I've got a Cogsworth. These are two adorable. I love them, love them. Pop those down there. Ooh, we have a golden egg from a Geeky Wizardry box. Again, a brilliant little item. This is super cute and very, very easy to display. So that is lovely. Ooh. Of course, I remember this guy. We have a little mandrake in a pot. Again, this is another geek gear item, I believe. Yeah, this is just such a cute little guy. I mean, look at him. He's got all these little roots sticking out all over the place. He's got some leaves as well. He comes with his own little pot, which I thought was really sweet. And I've put some foam in there because when he was sat in there initially, he was sat really low and I wanted to be able to see his face pop up. So I just stuffed it with a little bit of foam just to prop him up a little bit and you can see his little face. So yeah, he's really cute. I like him. What's that? Oh, <laughs> okay, I packed this in with my Harry Potter stuff. This is a Valentine's Day card. Yes, this is a Valentine's Day card for my husband. So yes, there's lots of pictures of us and a picture of my kids on the back. So yeah, that's really sweet. I'm glad I saved that. Completely irrelevant to this video, but I'm glad I saved it nonetheless. Oh, Ooh, then we have another figurine here. This is not Disney or Harry Potter related. This was something my grandparents bought me when my daughter was very first born. It was just me and my husband and my daughter. So yeah, this was a little present from my grandparents, which I love. Okay, at the bottom here, we have a Crimes of Grindelwald screenplay book. Don't smack yourself in the face with it. <laughs> oh, and then we have the Philosopher's Stone Ravenclaw edition. So this was for the 20th anniversary of the Philosopher's Stone book. And since I've gotten, um, I think we're up to definitely the Prisoner of Azkaban. I think we've got the Goblet of Fire as well. Yes, I'm pretty sure we've got the Goblet of Fire. So yeah, I'm up to that one anyway. But yeah, these books are so, so cool. Absolutely adore them. They all have the Ravenclaw colours. And then inside them as well, you do have information about the Ravenclaw house or Ravenclaw characters. Lots of different things like that. It's a really, really cool book. So in this one, we've got a Ravenclaw, an introduction. And then we've got some information about the house ghosts, the house relics, everything in here, all to do with the Ravenclaw. And then obviously then, if you go a little bit closer into the book, you have the actual Philosopher's Stone as well. So yeah, that's the boy who lived. Yeah, so these books are stunning. And each one has like more and more information in about the Ravenclaw house, or like I said, characters or something along those lines. Ooh, okay, and the last thing in the box is my Quidditch set. So this opens thusly and then inside we have a quaffle which does come out and then we have two bludgers again which come out and then right at the back there we can see a golden snitch that does not come out which is very sad i'm a bit gutted about that but yeah this is a lovely little quidditch set and yeah really really cute i love how detailed this is as well because it really does look 
like it could be real. And then the uh, quaffle does have a Hogwarts crest on the front. So, yeah. Oh, my legs ache. Ooh. So, yeah, that was everything that is in my box so far. I still have a whole heap of Harry Potter stuff to get out of storage and get out of boxes and start putting up on my shelves. I am buying some brand new shelves as well in the next couple of days. And they are gonna have the bulk of my Harry Potter collection on. So I cannot wait to get that ordered. Can't wait to get it up and actually get all my Harry Potter stuff on the shelves. And then I'll be able to film in front of it. So my background will then be my shelves and all of my collection on. So very, very excited. But as always guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a magical thumbs up so that I know. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't done already. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye you guys.